This year, no grief for anybody. That's the theme of this year. No grief for anybody. But however, our security agency, not even our security agency, Nigeria police, are saying that word, no grief for anybody. That is not good. That we should be saying it. That it can cause destruction, destruction in the, in in our beloved community. According to the, this police, I think the CP of Lagos State, he said, no grief for anybody slogan can plunge Nigeria into a crisis. Aha, I never knew that. Nigeria police has a warning on the supposed theme of 2024. And let me say again, on this note that the new slogan for 2023-24 for our young ones is no degree for anybody. Uh, we have been informed from our intelligence that this slogan is coming from a revolutionary sector that may likely cause problems across the country. No degree for anybody is being seen as just a normal talk. But in security business, in security community, we have seen it as a very, very dangerous slogan that can trigger crisis. We don't know why that man decided to say all those stuff. But however, a lot of Nigeria kicked against it. Even the spokesperson to to the military, Nigeria Army, while he was making a remark, it said that make Nigerians no grief for terrorists. Make Nigeria no grief for bad things. Which is when does no grief for anybody. A war that is kind of like giving us courage. Something for us to just uh, use to catch crews. A war that is giving us courage to fight this current hardship to go head forth into this current hardship and go through it a world that is fighting against injustice a world that is fighting against cruelty and if the Nigeria police say no why is it that you guys people will just wake up and the only thing they want to do is to cre create an uncomfortable environment for fine Nigerians, a, a boring, dead environment for honest Nigerians, for laughing Nigerians. Why? No grief for anybody. How does he affect you in your office? <laughs> how does it? I still, I'm still trying to understand. How does it in any way affect this man? And this was a statement again. He said, the police are in the best position to advise and educate Nigerians on possible, on possible earlier warning sign of an impending danger as a civil and people-oriented institution. Do not take the 2024 slogan for granted. Do not abuse the slogan and capitalize on it to attack to attacking security operatives while discharging their duties. Be responsible with the slogan. Sue for an embraced peace anywhere you find yourself. Even at home, it is well with our dear country. Oga, Oga, since when Nigeria stopped being law abiding citizens? Hmm? Uh -uh. Oh God, people will just wake up here. They will just say, you know what? What am I going to talk to you? Because you are in that position to talk, because you are in that big man position to say something, you just want to trend up. Wait till no grief, do you? No grief. Don't even speak up about no grief. Don't even say anything about no grief. It's like a tool to encourage Nigerians. Man, this hunger, the bugs, man, I don't agree for this hunger. Mm -hmm. Then social injustice, man, I will not agree for this social injustice. If last man, 
carry your motor wrongfully, I know we'll grieve for this kind of thing. If police one uh, one ride on your rights, I know we'll agree. If BI all those people where uh, people wanna uh, want uh, clamp your car because of uh one clamp your car wrongfully, no agree for anybody. They don't want any for well it's well it's kinda of like uh, doing his job though, though. and, uh, and uh, you you won't stop him from uh, doing his job. <laughs> Then, guys, there was a video that was trending recently online. Some Nigeria army officers beating up some certain persons. In case you have not seen the video, go over to my Telegram. You have seen you, you will watch the video over there. Some Nigeria young officers were beating up someone. The video is quite really horrible to watch. It is not friendly to watch. It's wicked. Those soldiers were wicked, no sense of humanity in them, no sense of social justice in them, nothing at all. The only thing I saw in that video were completely black out soldiers who have horror in their minds to verse out their hunger on that innocent man. I don't know what he did, but they are due process to things. I don't know what he did, but they are due process to things. The only form of arms government that has any right to intimidate and to jail is the court. Is the court that can give a judgment. You, you guys beat the hell out of this man, and not just only that, posted it on social media, thereby tarnishing the reputation of that young boy, of that young man. He might possibly may be a married man. I don't know what it is. They posted the video, tarnishing the image as well. But guess what? Those uh, soldiers were recently arrested. Those two soldiers. One was wearing a soldier uniform and the other wasn't. They were recently arrested. And we do not know what punishment they will face. But according to just exactly the way we expected them to say, they say they are currently investigating the matter. They are currently investigating the matter to know what prompted them and to know the appropriate punishment to melt on those soldiers. According to our report, they say Nigeria Army arrest soldiers who video themselves torturing, brutalizing youth in river states. Be the hell out of this man. For what? We do not know. Because we are, uh, we are wearing a soldier uniform. Because of the respect for the soldier uniform. If you were an ordinary citizen, do you think that guy for what should be beaten like that? What he will do you? What he will do you? But because of the respect, because of the respect for that uniform, falling heroes, falling heroes, that's why. There are some people that do not deserve to wear that uniform, honestly. Because they are going to spoil the good name of that uniform. And again, Sawo will no matter. After that whole issue, he arrested someone working along one soldier. Then two young army officers came out, posted a video abusing the governor. Ah, now the abuse governor. Well, guess what? Those people were recalled, and and, and, and they, they just commenced an investigation into the matter now. In fact, the Nigerian army came out, did a press conference, and and said to the world that they do not condone such behavior. That as an, as an army officer, you should be you, you should be a tool for justice. In the country, you should be a tool. Well, 
they supported the governor and those uh, officers that abused the governor were promptly arrested and they promised Nigeria that they are going to do a thorough investigation and of course melt out punishment. We are still waiting though.